Welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video demonstrates an image processing concept about a novel word spotting method based on recurrent neural networks. Keyword spotting refers to the process of retrieving all instances of a given keyword from a document. In this paper, a novel keyword spotting method for handwritten documents is described which is derived from a neural network based system for unconstrained handwritten documents. The keyword spotting is done using a modification of the CTC token passing algorithm in conjunction with the neural network system. The main steps in the paper are pre-processing where we do the normalization, feature extraction, neural network training, CTC token passing algorithm and keyword spotting. In the database used for the experiments, all documents are already segmented into individual text lines. We normalize the input text image as pre-processing step. Feature vector is formed based on the following information. Every zone has a feature vector corresponding to it. The contents of each zone feature vector are number of horizontal lines, number of vertical lines, number of right diagonal lines, number of left diagonal lines, normalized length of all horizontal lines, normalized length of all vertical lines, normalized length of all right diagonal lines, normalized length of all left diagonal lines, and normalized area of the skeleton. After zonal feature extraction, Certain features are extracted for the entire image based on the regional properties namely Euler number, regional area and eccentricity. Euler number is defined as the difference of number of objects and number of holes in the image. Regional area is defined as the ratio of number of pixels in the skeleton to the number of pixels in the image. Eccentricity is defined as the smallest ellipse that fits the skeleton of the image. In neural network, the text line is processed from both left to right and right to left. This is done because context from both sides of character is useful to improve the recognition. The information from two separate input layers is collected in two separate layers respectively and finally joined in the output layer. The CTC token passing algorithm for single words expects a sequence of letter probabilities of length t as input from the neural network together with a word w as a sequence of ASCII characters. In a dynamic programming fashion, the best path through the letter probability sequence is computed that corresponds with the letters from the input word w. The value of that path is then returned as a matching score, that is, the probability that the input to the neural network was indeed the given word. The returned probability of a word still depends upon the word's length. To receive a normalized value, we find the threshold of the image and binarize the image with value less than 175. We then apply two morphological operations, dilation and opening, in order to get rid of the blobs less than 200 pixels. An approximation of the keyword's length that works very well is to use the number of characters of the word. Now we'll see the demo of this project. To execute, right click on mainfile.m and select run file. Select any image from the dataset word folder and click open button.
starting from the beginning this is the pre-processing output we obtain on normalizing the input image we select once the features are extracted it is fed to the neural network for training in both the directions that is from left to right and right to left this is done because context from both sides of a character is useful to improve the recognition the information from two separate input layers is collected in two separate layers respectively and finally joined in the output layer based on the CTC token passing algorithm a keyword is spotted in the respective sentence from this demo we can conclude the proposed system is flexible enough to deal with a variety of diverse handwritten text due to the initialization of the neural networks using random weights a natural variance of several different neural networks can be observed however this is not a problem because it is possible to select high performing candidates on the validation set thank you